Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WooCommerce video series. In this video, I'm going to install a free plugin which will help you create the WooCommerce product feed for the Google Shopping. So you can add your WooCommerce products into the Google Merchant Center and eventually it is going to show your products under Google Shopping. Let me show you what is Google Shopping. Let's go to Google and search for a product, let's say laptop. And at the top, you will see all these sponsored ad. Here you will see shopping. If you go to shopping, again at the top, you will see some sponsored listings. And below that, you will see free listings. So all these listings are free and you can add your products into the Google Merchant Center, which will be shown under Google Shopping. In one of the previous videos, I have shown you how to use the WooCommerce Google Listings and Ads plugin, which will also add your products into the Google Merchant Center. If you want to watch this video, I'll give you the link in the description box. In this video, we are going to create the WooCommerce product feed and we are going to add this feed into the Google Merchant Center. So let's go to the WooCommerce website. I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website. And on this website, I'm using WooCommerce. Now let's go to plugins and click on add new plugin. Here search for CTX feed. So this is the name of the free plugin. This plugin has free as well as the paid version. In this video, we are going to work on the free plugin only. So click on install now and click on activate. All right, so the plugin is installed and it is activated in the left hand panel. You will see the option CTX feed. Click on it. All right, so we are on the dashboard of the CTX feed. You will see the auto update interval. So it is going to update your feed. So you can set the time interval according to your requirement. So I'm going to set 24 hours. So it is going to update the product feed after every 24 hours. All right, let's update interval. Now we need to create a new feed. You will see an option here, generate new feed, click on it. All right, so you need to select the country where you want to show this product feed. In this case, we have selected India. You can select your country. Then we have template. For this, we are going to use Google Shopping. You will see other options here. Google Shopping, local inventory ads, Google local product inventory, Google product review. So let's select Google Shopping and you need to add a file name. So I'm going to add a file name, let's say Google Shopping. So this is the name of the file. The type of the file will be XML and it is going to include all the variations. So if you have variable products, it is going to include the variable also, default variation, cheapest product. So I'm going to select all variation here. Here you will see Google attributes and these are the WooCommerce website attributes. So it is going to map your WooCommerce products with the Google attributes. So it is going to map the Google product title with the WooCommerce product title, product description of Google attribute with the product description in WooCommerce. So these are the mapping options. By default, it is mapped properly. However, here you will see one attribute which is Google product category and which is not a part of WooCommerce. So you need to select one of the Google categories according to your product or according to your shop. So here I'm going to click on select category and this demo website is mostly about the apparels and accessories. So I'm going to select, let's say clothing and you will see clothing. So select that option. So you need to select the category according to your shop or your products. If you want to know detailed information about the Google product categories, you can search for the Google product categories and you will see the list of categories which are available in the Google Merchant Center. Then we have manage image will be main image conditional. So I'm not going to make any other changes here. Here you will see an option manufacturer or a brand. Now, if you do not have any brand attribute then you can select the text and add the name of your brand here. For example, this website is going to use Param Freelance, which is the brand of this demo website. If you want, you can also create product attribute. Let me show you. Go to products and click on attributes. On this demo website, I have one attribute, which is colors. You can also create a new attribute of brands, which will be shown on each product. And from there, you can add the brand for each product. In this case, we have only one brand that is the text or the name of your shop. All the other fields looks good to me. So I'm going to click on update and generate feed. All right, so it says feed configuration is updated. Now let's go back to manage feeds. 
and you will see your feed file is generated and this is the url of your file all right now let's go to google merchant center in order to show your products into google shopping you need to have google merchant center account you can create an account it is very easy you can go to merchants.google.com and log in using your gmail account or google account and create an account for google merchant center you may need to verify your phone number while creating the merchant center account so this is the dashboard of the google merchant center and in the left hand panel you will see different options if i go to products i do not have any products listed yet if you have a free listing it will show all the free listing products here if you have any ad campaign it will show the ad campaign here or you can run the ad campaigns for the google shopping so let's go back to products and click on add products now here you will see different options to add products in the google merchant center the first option is connect to WooCommerce, which is nothing but a free plugin, Google listings and ads, which I have already explained in this video. So when you install this plugin, it is going to connect your WooCommerce shop automatically with the Google Merchant Center. And whenever you add any product, it is going to automatically update the listing in the Google Merchant Center. This plugin is developed by WooCommerce and this is a free plugin. All right. And the other option is add products from a file or use a Google Sheet template, add products one by one, or add products using API. Now we are going to use add products from a file because we have created a feed file here. All right, so this is the option selected and it updates automatically. Now we need to enter the link of your file. All right, so this is the link. You can copy it, go back and enter the link this only needs to be set up once your products on the merchant center will automatically update with your file all right so we have got the link here this is the schedule automatically updates every 24 hours at 12 am so you don't need to make any changes it is going to update the file automatically after every 24 hours no username and password this is not a secured file there is no username and password and the other option is add a file using SFTP or upload a file from your computer. In these two options, you need to add the file manually every time you add a product. So that's not a good way. We have the plugin which has already created a feed file. Now let's click on continue. It is going to process the file and it will fetch the information from the file. It shows total updated products is 57 new products added attribute names all recognized your profile no issues fine in many cases you may get error message you need to figure out where is the problem what is the error and how you can fix it click on update now when i click update it, it has shown nine products now remember it is still processing the file if i click on update again you will see the products added are 55 now let's go back or let's click on products and you will be back to the dashboard where all the products are and you will see it is not yet approved because there may be some errors that we need to figure out okay so all the products are not approved if i go here visibility this product cannot be shown it has one or more issues preventing it from showing on google review and fix click on it all right so first we need to confirm our online store so i need to confirm whether it's my site it is not difficult you need to go to learn more and from there we need to verify our website with the google merchant center okay here you will see how to verify your website currently i'm using a demo website which is not a live website that's why it is giving me errors now the other error is unable to show the image then pending initial review so it is still going through the review pending initial review so these are the limits visibility in india if you have any other country it may show other errors image is still under review because there are some limits visibility in india then mismatched currency in shipping information now here the issue is that while creating this website i used the dollar currency which is not the indian currency and that's why i'm getting these errors let's go back and you will see the name of the product here if i click on it this is the url it is not showing any image if i open it 
the product does have image however because of some restrictions in product image in india it is not showing me the image if i go to needs attention these are the same error messages first i need to confirm or verify my website with google merchant center then i need to work on the images and this mismatched currency information in shipping so i need to change the currency so these errors can be fixed easily for example the first error verify your google store and these are the options to verify your google store you can add an html tag or file to your website and it is going to verify your website or you can use email verification to receive a code use google tag manager so these are the basic verification methods that you can use to fix this error all right so you will see all the products are here but they are not approved once i fix these errors it will approve all these products and it will be shown under google shopping so this is how you can install a free plugin to create a woocommerce product feeds for google shopping so that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools if you have any questions please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video thanks for watching quick tips